now gets start with machine learning fundamentals uh, basically in the real world we are surrounded by humans we can uh, learn everything from their experiences with their learning capabilities and we have computers or machines which work on our instructions but can a machine also learn from experiences or past data like a human uh, does so here all comes the role of machine learning basically machine learning is said as a subset of artificial intelligence that is mainly concerned with the development of algorithms which allows a computer to learn from the data and past experiences on their own and the term machine learning was first introduced by Arthur Samuel in 1959 we can define it in a summarized way is that machine learning enables a machine to automatically learn from data improve performance from experiences and predict thing without being explicitly programmed we can say with the help of sample historical data which is known as training data machine learning algorithms build a mathematical model that helps in uh, you know making predictions or decision without being explicitly programmed and it is it brings computer science and statistics together for creating predictive models and it construct or uh, you, uh, we can say uses the algorithms that learn from historical data the more we will provide the information the higher will be performance so in summarize a machine has a ability to learn if it can improve its performance by gaining more data now when machine learning is useful so basically learning is useful when human expertise does not exist and humans are unable to uh, you know explain their expertise like speech recognition and other uh, sort of uh, examples also solution changes in time like routine on a computer network also solution needs to be adopted to particular cases uh, like user biometric and others now how does machine learning works a machine learning system learns from historical data as i mentioned earlier and it builds the prediction models and it uh, receives new data whenever it receives new data it predict the output for it so the accuracy of predict predicted output depends upon the amount of data as the huge amount of data helps to build a you know better model which predicts the output more accurately suppose we have a complex problem where we need to perform some predictions so instead of writing a code for it we just need to feed the data to you know generic algorithms and with the help of these algorithms machine builds the logic as per the data and predict the output but machine learning has changed our uh, way of thinking about the problem and this diagram explain the working of machine learning algorithms now some of hot features of machine learning that machine learning uses data to detect various patterns in a data given uh, data set and it also can learn from past data and improve it automatically also it is a data driven technology and it is much similar to data mining as it also deals with the huge amount of the data also it is uh, much similar to uh, big data and other fields now the need for machine learning is increasing day by day the reason behind the need for machine uh, machine learning is that it uh, it is capable of doing task they are uh, too complex for our person to implement directly as a human we have some limitations as we cannot access the huge amount of data manually so for this we need some uh, computer systems and here comes the machine learning to make things easy for us 
we can train machine learning algorithms by you know providing them a huge amount of data and let them explore the data and uh, you know construct the models and predict the required output automatically so the performance of the machine learning algorithm depends on the amount of data and it can be uh, you know determined by the cost function and with the help of machine learning we can also save both time and money so the importance of machine learning can be easily understood by its uh, you know it uh, uses it its all applications currently machine learning is used in uh, self driving cars cyber uh, fraud detection you know face recognition and friend suggestion by facebook and etc so various top companies such as netflix such as uh, amazon have built machine learning models that are using a vast amount of data to analyze the user interest and recommend product accordingly so some of uh, key points which show the importance of machine learning that are rapid increment in the production of data solving complex problems which are difficult for a human and also de- decision making in various sector including finance also finding hidden uh, patterns and extracting useful information from the data now classification of machine learning uh, basically at a broad level machine learning can be classified into three types supervised learning unsupervised learning and Uh, also reinforcement learning uh, basically supervised learning is a type of machine learning method in which we provide sample labeled data to the machine learning system in order to train it and on that basis basically predict the output and also the system creates a model using labeled data to understand the data sets and learn about each data once the training and processing are done then we test the uh, model by providing a sample data to check whether it is predicting the exact output or not so basically the goal of supervised learning is to map input data with the output data and supervised learning is based on supervision and it is the same as when a student learns thing in the supervision of a professor of a teacher or you know Uh, mentors so the example of supervised learning is uh, you know spam filtering and some uh, sort of examples uh, or supervised learning can be grouped further into two categories of algorithms it can be uh, classification also it can be regression set second type of machine learning is unsupervised learning it is a learning that uh, which a machine learn learns without any supervision basically the training is provided to the machine with the set of data that has not been labeled that not uh, been classified or not been you know categorized and and the algorithm needs to act on that data without any supervision so basic goal of this unsupervised learning is to reconstruct the input data into new uh, into new features or a group of objects with uh, similar patterns so in this uh, type we don't have a you know predetermined results and the machine tries to find useful insights from the huge amount of data and it can be further classified into two categories that are again uh, clustering and association now the final type is reinforcement learning that is basically a feedback based learning method in which a learning agent gets a reward for each right action and gets a penalty for each wrong action and the agent learns automatically with these fe- feedbacks and improve its performance so in this type the agent interacts with the environment and explore it and the goal of uh, 
agent is to get the most reward points and hence it improves its uh, you know performances uh, so the robotic a dog which automatically learns the movement of it, uh, his arms is an example of uh, basic reinforcement learning here is the some some of related fields uh, like artificial intelligence means smart algorithms big data statistics computer science system and control analysis modeling and you know data mining and others here is the graphical overview for this now the history of machine learning is basically uh, before some years about 40 to 50 years machine learning was science fiction but today it is a part of our daily life it is making our our day to day life easy for from self driving cars to amazon virtual assistants called alexa however the idea behind machine learning is so old and has a long history here here are some milestones are given which have accurate in in the history of machine learning that the early history of machine learning pre 1940 then uh, the era of stored program computers uh, in 1940 to 1943 then 1950 computer machinery and intelligence uh, era then in 1952 to 1959 the machine learning in games was introduced then also in 1974 to 1980 the first ai winter was introduced and this duration was called ai winter in this duration failures of machine learning translation occurred and people had reduced their interest from ai which lead to reduced funding by the government of uh, uh, government to the researchers then uh, in 1959 the machine learning from theory to uh, reality convergence rem- that means uh the first neural network was applied to a real world problem to remove echoes over phone lines using an adaptive learning then uh, machine learning at 21st century is uh, given a new name to neural net research as deep learning and nowadays it has become one of the most trending technologies uh then 2014 deep face was uh, introduced which is deep neural network created by facebook then also uh, in 2017 the alphabet uh, team built an intelligent system that was able to learn the online trolling and it used to read millions of comments of uh, you know different websites to learn to stop online trolling now machine learning nowadays has got a great advancement in its research and it is present everywhere around us such as self driving cars amazon alexa chatbots recommender systems and many, many more it includes the supervision unsupervision and reinforcement learning with clustering and more Uh, and classification decision tree svm algorithms and etc so we can say modern machine learning models can be used for making various predictions including weather prediction disease prediction stock market analysis and etc